Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Land of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse for the Master System and Game Gear. In the first video, we left the village, we went through the forest and the lake, as well as the Blacksmith's Castle. We rescued some guy from some magic spell that turned him into a magic dragon, who looks like Puff the Magic Dragon, amazingly. And we turned him back into a man, and he rest and he rewarded us with the magic flute, which allows us to exit the level without ha having to go through it all the way. There is a cave nearby, but we need a shrink potion to get to it, as we were told by the blacksmith that we rescued. So we have to go through the castle ruins to get it first, because that's where he told us where it is. And this is going to be nuts. First of all, it's going to be dark, unless you pick up the lantern. Let's do some deft dodging to avoid the jack o' lantern and jump over the ghost. And then we're gonna lay the lantern right here. So we that way we can jump over the wall, beat up this jack o' lantern, and then grab ourselves another lantern while another jack o' lantern shows up, apparently. And we can go ahead and take a cake break here. Slice a cake if you need it. Before going back with the lantern over to here. And if the jack-o'-lantern would not run into me, that would be great. There we go. Need to jump over it this time. Alright, there we go. Bounce off the jack-o'-lantern. Hit the checkpoint. There is a flashing star there. There's a power star there, but we cannot get it yet. We will have to worry about it for later. For now, we need to make our way to the right across the spike pit bouncing off the jack-o'-lanterns as we go, and off the ghosts. The ghosts can't die, you just temporarily stun them for a second. And in here, another cake. I definitely needed that. Now we needed to pick these blocks and place them in the spike pit. Why? Because why not? I mean, it's the only way we're gonna get past here anyway. Now, thankfully, as we keep going back, the game will remember where we drop these things. And I thought I could clear that, but apparently I could not. I should have laid some more blocks down. Gave, him, gave myself, like, two block platforms apiece. Make the landing areas a little bit wider. That's on me. And inside this chest is... A big coin. Oh well. Now here... The game decides to be an auto-scroller. We need to get these... Blocks out of our way. And we need to leave one here. Remember that for later. And if I can do this, perfect! There's a whole cake that refills all of our health if we need it. And from here we need to keep going to the right. If you hit the buttons at any point, you'll scroll the screen back to the left for as long as the button is pressed. Anyway, we need to get rid of all those blocks to make it easier to get through here. Watch out for the jack-o'-lantern as you grab this key. And then once you grab the key, start landing on buttons and standing on them. The longer you stand on a button, the further you'll scroll the screen back to the left. It is possible to scroll yourself off the buttons, just because of the nature of this screen scrolling. And you actually want to wait for as long as possible. That way, you can give yourself as much time as possible to get as far to the left as you can, and give yourself more than enough time to get to the next button. Kind of following or not following my own advice there, sadly. And here's what you need to do for this part. You need to throw the key onto this part, onto this button, and then you can get these out of your way. From here, you can then stand on the button. We're gonna get as much of a wait time as possible, and we need to get to this button as quickly as we can. Thankfully, the hardest part about this is over. Once we get the key to the door, 
and hit the checkpoint, we don't have to worry about the screen scrolling anymore, and we can enter this door. That part where you have to lay the key in the button just so you can get the blocks out of your way, I know, I'm not expecting little kids to get that, let alone some adults. Like, you have to think to get to that one. But anyway, we need to fight this ghost, we need to butt bounce off of it, and make sure we come in here with plenty of health that way in case the flames that it produces hits us. After one hit, it produces one. After two, it produces a second. After three, it produces a third. You want to wait for the ghost to dive down towards you, so that way you can easily butt bounce it without getting hurt. After three hits, the ghost goes away, you'll get the shrink potion, and you'll also get a key with the exit. You also get an explanation as to how to use the magic potion. To use the magic potion, just hold down, press button one, and you'll shrink in size. You'll return to normal size just by doing it again. Let's grab the key, let's produce the door, and we can get out of here. And now that we have made our way through the castle ruins, we can go through the tiny cavern. Now, we, we could go here earlier, but we couldn't do anything before. But now that we have the shrink potion, we can. Hold down, press button one, you'll shrink down, and you can take the smaller paths for as long as you need to. You might want to stay shrunken for like this whole thing. And don't and even though the ground is rising and falling, don't worry about being crushed. As long as you're small, you don't have to worry about it at all. Also, I don't think you can shrink down in areas where you can't be big. Or rather, you can't return to normal size where you can't be normal size. That's kind of what I meant to say. But as long as you know what you're doing and you don't dilly-dally around too much, you won't have to worry about getting crushed on ceilings or anything. And to get past this guy, he'll rise up when you get close. When he goes back down in the ground, just you can just walk past him. That's it. And for this part, we can just break the blocks, break them all if we need to. We need to get this guy towards us so that way we can butt bounce him. And from here, we are just going to climb up this vine. Once again, wait for this guy to sink back into the ground, then make your move. Now I wonder. Can you do this? Or do I need, to, need another item? I think you need another item for this. I'll try one more time. Yeah, you need another item for this. There's a hidden area here, but we won't be able to access it yet. Anyway, once you go up here by pressing the jump button. Oh, you have to hold up. Okay. Hold up at that opening, and you'll go into the background layer, and you'll drop down here. Shrink down, and just move to the left. As long as you don't jump, you don't have to worry about the spider. And I can't believe I did that. Even though I can easily jump over him. Above us is the hidden area, but we can't get there for now. Instead, just grab the key, go through the door. And now, we can continue on to the flower field. We have some caterpillars crawling around. We have some bees that will try to strike down at us if we get too close. We have these flower platforms that will get us past these Venus flytraps. Will he follow us around? No, he won't come back. You want to watch out for this, uh... Yeah, you want to watch out for that, otherwise you're getting hit. That little dew drop there. And this thing here, this little dandelion seed, the longer you stand on it, the more it sinks. Just keep jumping, just keep making short hops by tapping button two. And you should be able to keep it afloat well over those Venus fly traps, and you can get over here. Now here, you're supposed to use the butterfly as a means of getting further to the right. You actually have to go that way, believe it or not. But, if you shrink down with the shrink potion, 
and keep bouncing off the butterfly while you're small, you'll find that you, you actually won't destroy it, and if you know what you're doing, you can also take a ride on it. This takes you to a power star that is not easy to figure out and pretty easy to miss. You just kind of have to play around to find that one. Now, we will have to do some backtracking, but that's okay. We now have five power stars. We have uh, now have as much health as we possibly can. Oh, and there's brambles down there. You don't want to drop down on those either. I just now realized those are brambles. Yeah, you want to keep going this way. And there is an extra life. Let's go ahead and grab it while avoiding the bee. And now we are over that field of brambles. And by jumping onto this flower, we can grab a key. And we can go into this door to exit the level. Now, you won't be able to go north to wherever that is. But you can go to the Toy Workshop stage next. And I kind of gave myself 20 minutes to... The I kind of I kind of expected the castle ruins to take more time than it did. I expected to mess it up at least once just because of me forgetting or something. But thankfully I didn't, and I covered everything that I did in my practice run for this video in less than 12 minutes. And because of that, well, this video is going to run a little short, unfortunately. Join me next time where we head to the toy workshop stage and beyond. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!